Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this rather cute pineapple paper squishy, which was inspired after watching Karina Garcia's World Largest Squishy video. But this one isn't going to be the World Largest Paper Squishy, but you can make it as big as you want. First I'm going to fold this paper in half and then use the black gel pen to mark the outline of the pineapple paper squishy. If you don't have a gel pen, you can use any type of pen or pencil, but I find this one stands out more so you can easily see it. Next I use my key line marker to colour the leaves of the pineapple. Then I use a pretty pink marker called Pink Flamingo to colour the bow and the lips. I use a gel pen again to finish off the bow and the mouth. Lastly, I use this yellow marker called Yellow Blaze to colour the pineapple fruit. These are the colours that I had handy, but you can use anything you have in your pencil case. With a black permanent marker, I draw two eyes to finish off my paper squishy. I thought my paper squishy needed a bit more depth, so I'm using a yellowy orange gel pen to make the crisscrossing lines on the pineapple fruit. Then with a green and pink gel pen, I highlight the leaves, lips and bow to give them a bit more sparkle. Carefully cut around the pineapple, remembering the paper is folded in half, so I'm cutting two pineapples at the same time, which I use for the front and the back of the pineapple squishy. Next I cover the whole of the front of the pineapple paper squishy with tape. The plastic cover of the notebook makes it easier to lift off. make lots of little cuts around the edge of the pineapple. Next I cover the back of the squishy with tape. Then I use a wooden skewer to loosen up the leaves before stuffing them with toy stuffing. If you don't have any toy stuffing, you can use cut up foam or cotton balls or even plastic bags to fill. But I like using the filling as it makes the paper squishy soft. When there was enough squishy filling, I held the opening closed and taped over. Then I checked for any air holes, and if there were, I added more tape, so that no air escaped from the paper squishy. This gives the paper squishy a nice feel when it's squished and slowly rises back. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and comment below on what you would like to see next. Thanks for watching to the end. See you next time.